Hey everybody, if you haven't done this before, I'd suggest going back and watching all the other ones. That way, A, you know what I think about this series so far, and B, you understand the rules. Uh, I'm not going to bother explaining them again. I assume that you've watched up till this point. If you haven't, go back and watch any of the other ones and you'll kind of figure it out. But anyway, uh, expect another episode of this on Friday uh, because I don't intend on streaming on Wednesdays. So that way I can uh, hang out with my wife a bit. Um, so yeah, there'll be this one today and then another one on Friday. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get it started. So I'm going to start counting down for those of you on Crunchyroll. Um, and for those of you on Netflix and other places that don't have this intro text, the ding is where you'll want to start. Ready? Three, two, one, go. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that was a short intro. I feel like Speedwagon is like the most relatable character in this se like, series so far. Like, he's just kind of a guy. You know? Like, I'm sure he gets abilities and stuff later, but like, out of everyone... The way he reacts to things seems like the most reasonable human way to react to anything. It's been pointed out that the uh, Joestar family is nice and like pure and kind, but there's... I, I think at a certain point you gotta be like a little bit self-serving. Like, I'm all about like, I don't know, being nice to people, but it's, it's Dio. Like, can- can you please realize how much of an asshole he is? That, that theme song is starting to grow on me a bit, honestly. Like, I'm not going to listen to it in my spare time, but, you know, I'm not upset about hearing it every time now. Knock first. I can't tell if that's what's her name. Isn't that gonna like make his skin fuck up too? That is her, right? It's not just all women are drawn the same way in this series. Okay. So it's supposed to look like her. Just in case you weren't aware, he's the main character. His name is Jojo. What have you been doing with yourself? I um, I got in a fist fight with a vampire, and I uh, got set on fire, as you know. What have you been up to? Why isn't your arm broken? Yeah, right? 
Oh, come on. Okay, now we get into the Jack the Ripper thing. Did you bring a chair all the way here? Oh, it's a... I thought he just had a throne with him, but it's like a wheelchair. Okay, it kind of is both. He's just rolling around in a lazy boy. So if I recall correctly, they kind of suspect that, uh, oh, what was it with Jack the Ripper? He was a, uh, a Frenchman who was probably also like, he wasn't from England based on like his dress or something like that. There was some sort of like identifying trait about him based on eyewitness accounts. And, uh, God, I should look into that again. Killed exclusively like prostitutes and got away with it. I mean, we still don't really know who he is. He uh, almost got caught twice and ended up uh, botching one of his murders because of it. <laughs> what the fuck? Why, though? And that's the only part in this series he has. He just walks away from here and never is brought up again. I just punched him for no fucking reason. Victorian medicine was weird. Just get slammed in the fucking chest real hard and then your arm's fine. That's that's absolutely not how anything works. I want to punch people so good that they feel better. Like that's that's not how what that's not how broken arms work. <laughs> this is not going to go anywhere that's good. He's going Super Saiyan to attack a frog. You saw a vampire. It's fine. <laughs> Why? Fucking why, though? How do we know that frog isn't just ripped and can, like... What if... What if the frog just has magic powers and you don't?
Why are you only finding out about the mask now? He's had it for like at least a decade. Oh, she doesn't know? Yeah? <sighs> so you punched him so good in the stomach that his arm not only is not broken anymore, but also he's... What? So, now he's just evil. That's it. That's like, that's his character motivation? Like, I'm fine with that. I just, I expected, like, I don't know. The reason he hates JoJo is because he was an asshole to him or something. Like, I don't know. But th for no discernible reason, Dio is like this. Like, his dad was an asshole? I've known plenty of people whose dads were assholes and they didn't end up being an asshole themselves. Because they realized that... Yeah, I don't want to be like my dad, you know? In fact, more times than not, I actually can't think of a single time where... I don't know. This kind of reminds, reminds me of a bit from, what's it, Bacano? Bacano? Where everyone's on a boat and then vampires? I mean, that's like, I guess not that... That insane to think about? Poke! You're also going to die. Have you? His instant worry is about the mask and not the fact that he's going to drown there. How did you get out of the ocean? It's big. It's known for that. It's like a good chunk of the earth. How are you okay? So we're not we're not doing stands yet. That's going to be like one of these other episodes. Cuz right He never really explained how he got out of the ocean. I still feel like that's relevant. He just, like, he fell in the ocean adrift, and then he was fine. Is it necessary to fight in the water?
Why are you fighting in the river? You guys trained for like five minutes in a lake. I don't think... I don't think he's ready. What the fuck? Those guys didn't hear the rest of his conversation, so they're just like, what are you talking about? That's how tunnels work, yep. Why would you, though? No, I think he's probably a nice guy. He's probably just trying to get some Girl Scout cookies, some for his kid. Dumb. I understand you don't feel pain anymore, but literally, why would you do that? I don't know, maybe stab his arm? Break his own leg? So far, what we know about him is not a lot. Like, oh no, it's exactly what you said. Like, all that we know about him is he hates horses and he doesn't mind being stabbed in the face, so... So, like, what's the, uh, the prep for that? You just stab yourself a whole bunch with knives? If he gets stabbed during this, I'm gonna laugh so fucking hard. Yeah, he's fine. Of course he is. What if he had a knife in his face still, and he just, like... <sighs> what?
They've only been training for like a day. <sighs> Thank you, Speedwagon. I realize that Speedwagon is like, I guess, the proxy for us as the audience. But he's doing a good job of it. Anytime he talks, it's like, yes, exactly. I agree with you, Speedwagon. What? What? How exactly did that weapon work? Is that just an Iron Maiden that he's running around with? Okay, yeah. You have magic powers. <clears throat> I guess we're not doing stands this season. I was fully expecting, based on, like, the little, like, thing that we saw last time, that he was gonna be like, you have a magic spirit that will, like, take care of you and stuff. But no. I, I guess that's, like, um, DBZ-style, like, power creep, where it's like, yeah, you can do this Hamon thing, but you also have to, like, have a spirit to protect you. You can't just do one, you have to do both. And that's the most powerful way of fighting this next time. Just continuing on more and more powerful ways of fighting until we're just doing something stupid as fuck. I mean, not to say that that wasn't, but, you know. I think that... I think One Piece referred to Hamon as well. It was like, um... God, what was the name of the guy? It was after the, um... Which arc was that? It's after the arc with, uh, Ace. If you know what I'm talking about. Like, right around then. I think that's when Hamon starts getting introduced. Am I right? Did anyone watch One Piece? All right. Absolutely nothing that happens in these, like, in slates make any fucking sense. Like, that didn't tell me shit. That didn't tell me a goddamn thing about what's going on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. Uh, this one was a bit of a slow episode, despite the fact that it had a lot of fighting, it was just... <sighs> it's setting up for how the fights are going to go for the rest of the entire series, or at least this entire, like, the rest of this season. So, I guess it was necessary. I mean, a guy got punched to death, that was cool. A frog got punched real fucking hard, that was neat. 
I'm still voting for the frog being the one that actually has magic powers. And the other guy was just bullshitting it the entire time. Like, he just punched that frog, but the frog was, like, he had magic powers, not the other guy. Anyway. Um, I'll see you guys next time. See you Friday. Bye.